Hey everybody, just a quick update. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time putting the extra videos up. Last week was really busy for me. Uh, but today I was kind of walking around and I saw one of these. I saw this at a local um, comic store. I just happened to stroll by and I just couldn't resist. It was only $10. And I've seen a lot of Gundams on YouTube, especially from Bad Grindles. And I've never built one, never owned one. Uh, don't know anything about them, but it looks really cool. Uh, fun to build from what I've seen on the other uh, videos. And I said, for 10 bucks, why not? So we get in the box here. Two baggies. Really cool is this kind of flesh colored figure here. So that's right up my alley is the figure painting. And then some stickers, the connector sprue, and of course things molded in different colors. The different colors on the same sprue is really interesting. Yeah, instructions. Looks like there's a total of 10 steps on this thing. Of course, it's all in Japanese. So, um, it will be interesting to try and build that. And on top of that, there's also a painting guide for the character. On top of the instructions, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that's still probably the easiest part here for me. Um, it's kind of There's not much commentary on it because I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm just kind of looking at it for the first time. But still, this multiple colors on the same screw is really interesting. You can definitely see how they do it though. The injector point right here for this color, injector point here for this color, and it just kind of, yeah. It's pretty, it's not, it doesn't seem to be that, that complex of a manufacturing process. And the character with the display stand, to have some Japanese characters down here. I imagine that's the character's name. Of course, it's in Japanese, so it doesn't really mean much to me. <laughs> There's some nice, I like this dark blue. It's neat, this royal blue color. And the stickers. And lastly, the, the poly caps. I think that's what they were called. And hands, too. Be a lot of flashing on these though. A lot of flashing. So that's it. Just a real quick video. I've got, uh, I don't know if I'm going to work on this or not, but I've got a lot of painting to do. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my first Gundam kit. Should be some, some entertaining for, entertainment for $10. I'll talk to you guys later.